top six best strategic bombers in the world. Bomber planes are still used by several countries around the world. The United States, Russia, and China are currently the only countries that operate strategic heavy bombers. These bombers are used for various missions. Number six, the Tupolev Tu-22M, NATO reporting name, Backfire. Backfire is a supersonic, variable sweep wing, long-range strategic and maritime strike bomber developed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the 1960s. The bomber was first flown in 1969 and entered service with the Soviet Air Forces in 1972. More than 490 Backfire have been built. As of 2021, there were 66 of the aircraft in active service. Backfire was first used in combat in Afghanistan. The Tu-22 bomber has a crew of four. Aircraft has a length of 42.46 meters, a wingspan of 34.28 meters 20 degrees sweep, or 23.3 meters 65 degrees sweep, and a height of 11.05 meters. Latest Tu-22, variant Tu-22M3. The Tu-22M3 is powered by two Kuznetsov NK-25 turbojet engines. Each engine produces 56,000 lbf of thrust. This gives the Tu-22 a top speed of Mach 1.8 at sea level. The maximum speed at high altitude is Mach 2.35. The Tu-22M3 has a combat range of 6,800 kilometers without refueling. With in-flight refueling, the bomber's range can be extended to 12,000 kilometers. The Tu-22M3 has a maximum takeoff weight of 126,000 kilograms. It's armed with a 23-millimeter GSH-23 cannon and a remotely controlled tail turret. Its weapons are carried on its hardpoints and in its weapon bay. The aircraft has 12 hardpoints, which can carry a total of 24,000 kilograms of weapons. The hardpoints are located under the fuselage, wings, and tail. The Tu-22M3 can be armed with up to three KH-22 or KH-32 anti-ship missiles in the weapons bay and on wing pylons, six KH-15 missiles on a rotary launcher in the bomb bay, plus four KH-15 missiles on two underwing pylons for a total of 10 missiles per aircraft. And up to four KH-47M2 Kinzhal hypersonic missiles. The KH-22 and KH-32 are both long-range anti-ship missiles. The KH-15 is a short-range cruise missile that can be used against a variety of targets, including ships, ground targets, and air defenses. The Kinzhal is a hypersonic air-launched ballistic missile with a range of 1,500 to 2,000 kilometers and a speed of up to Mach 10. It can carry either a conventional or nuclear warhead. The Tu-22M3 can also carry a variety of bombs, including the FAB-500, FAB-1500, and FAB-3000. These are general-purpose bombs that can be used to attack a variety of targets. Number 5. Tupolev Tu-95. Tu-95 is a large, four-engine, turboprop-powered strategic bomber that was first flown in 1952 and entered service with the Soviet Air Forces in 1956. It's also known as the BEAR by NATO. BEAR was first used in combat in 2015. It is expected to serve the Russian Aerospace Forces until at least 2040. The Tu-95 is also the only propeller-powered strategic bomber still in operational use today. It's one of the loudest military aircraft because the tips of its propeller blades move faster than the speed of sound. Its distinctive swept-back wings are set at an angle of 35 degrees. The Tu-95 is the only propeller-driven aircraft with swept wings that has been built in large numbers. More than 500 aircraft were built. Aircraft has a crew of seven. The Bear is a very large aircraft. It has a length of 49 meters, a wingspan of 51 meters, and a height of 13 meters. The Tu-95MS is powered by four Kuznetsov NK-12M turboprop engines, which each produce 15,000 horsepower. The Tu-95 has a top speed of 550 knots at high altitude and a range of 15,000 kilometers without refueling. The Tu-95 has a maximum takeoff weight of 240,000 kilograms. 
It has 12 hard points. It also has weapon bay. The weapon bay is located in the fuselage, below the cockpit. Bear can carry a payload of up to 20 tons of bombs or missiles. The TU-95 has a tail turret equipped with two 23mm GSH-23 autocannons. But the tail gun on the TU-95 has been removed from most of the aircraft in service. The tail gun was removed because it was not very effective against modern fighters. Bear can carry a variety of missiles, including the KH-20, KH-22, and KH-55, KH-101, and KH-102 cruise missiles. This 60-year-old bear also can carry KH-47M2 Kinzhal hypersonic missiles. In 2021, four Tu-95 bombers were delivered to the Russian Air Force. Each bomber is capable of carrying up to six KH-55, KH-55SM, or KH-555 cruise missiles on a rotary launcher in the aircraft's weapons bay. The Tu-95 can carry up to 20 tons of conventional bombs, 10 nuclear bombs or cluster bombs. Number 4. B-52 Stratofortress The B-52 is a long-range subsonic strategic bomber designed and built by Boeing. The B-52 Stratofortress, which was built to carry nuclear weapons for Cold War-era deterrence missions, took its maiden flight in April 1952. In combat, the B-52 has only dropped conventional munitions. The B-52 Stratofortress has been in service with the United States Air Force since 1955. As of 2022, there are 72 aircraft in the U.S. Air Force inventory. B-52 has been involved in several wars, including the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, and the war in Afghanistan. The B-52 is expected to remain in service until the 2040. It is currently undergoing a modernization program that will extend its service life and improve its capabilities. The B-52 has a crew of five. The B-52 has a wingspan of 56.4 meters. This is about the same wingspan as a Boeing 747. The B-52 is also about 48.5 meters long and 12.4 meters tall. Aircraft is powered by eight Pratt and Whitney TF 33P3 turbofan engines. Each engine produces up to 17,000 pounds of thrust. This gives the B-52 a top speed of Mach 0.9 and a range of over 14,080 kilometers without refueling. Between 1952 and 1962, Boeing built 744 B-52S in a total of eight versions. The B-52's maximum takeoff weight is 219,600 kilograms. The B-52 can carry a maximum payload of 31,500 kilograms of bombs and missiles, which can be spread over its two internal bays and external pylons. It can carry a mix of nuclear bombs, conventional bombs, cruise missiles, and air-to-air -air missiles. B-52 can armed with B-61, B-83 nuclear bombs, MK and GBU series, conventional bombs, cruise missiles such as AGM-69, AGM-86, and AGM-129. It also can carry few air-to-air -air missiles. Number three, one of the most beautiful combat aircraft in the world, the B-1B Lancer. The Rockwell B-1 Lancer is a supersonic variable sweep wing, heavy bomber. It is also known as the Bone. A total of 104 Lancers have been produced. The first production B-1B flew in October 1984, and the first B-1B was delivered to Dias Air Force Base, Texas, in June 1985. Initial operational capability was achieved on October 1, 1986. Final aircraft was delivered May 2, 1988. The Lancer has been used in combat in several times, including Operation Desert Fox, Operation Allied Force, Operation Enduring Freedom, and Operation Iraqi Freedom. Aircraft is expected to remain in service until at least 2036. The B-1B Lancer was originally designed as a strategic nuclear bomber, capable of flying at low altitudes to evade Soviet early warning radars. However, after the Cold War ended, the B-1B was modified to carry conventional weapons and has since been used extensively in close air support and tactical bombing operations. 
The B1B holds almost 50 world records for speed, payload, range, and time of climb in its class. The B1B is operated by a crew of four. It has a length of 44.5 meters, a wingspan of 41.8 meters when extended, 24.1 meters when swept aft, and a height of 10.4 meters. The Lancer is powered by four General Electric F 101 GE 102 turbofan engine with afterburner. Each engine produced 30,780 lbf with afterburner. The B1B can fly at speeds of up to Mach 1.23 at sea level. The aircraft has a maximum range of 6,800 nautical miles when carrying a full payload. The B1B can carry a payload of up to 34,019 kilograms internally and 22,679 kilograms externally. The B-1B can carry MK-82 or 24 MK-84 general purpose bombs, MK-62, and MK-65 quick strike naval mines. B-1B can also carry up to 30 cluster munitions. Bomber can carry up to 24 GBU-31 or GBU-38 joint direct attack munitions. The B-1 can also carry up to 24 AGM, 158 A joint air to surface standoff missiles and GBU-54 laser joint direct attack munition. The specific weapons that are carried will vary depending on the mission requirements. Number 2. The Tupolev Tu-160, also known as the White Swan or Blackjack. Blackjack is a supersonic, variable sweep wing heavy strategic bomber and airborne missile platform. It was designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union in the 1970s and is the largest and heaviest Mach 2 Plus supersonic military aircraft ever built. It is also the fastest bomber in use and the largest and heaviest variable sweep wing aircraft ever flown. The Tu-160 entered service in 1987, making it the last strategic bomber designed for the Soviet Union. The Tu-160 was produced in limited numbers and only 35 aircraft were built before the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. The Russian Air Force inherited 16 of these aircraft, and it has continued to operate them. In recent years, Russia has begun to upgrade the Tu-160 fleet, and it is expected to remain in service for many years to come. On November 17, 2015, Russia launched a major airstrike against ISIS in Syria, using Tu-160 and 295 MS bombers to fire KH-101 cruise missiles from the Mediterranean Sea. The airstrikes destroyed 14 ISIS targets and killed an estimated 60 militants. Aircraft has a crew of four. It is 54.1 meters long and has a wingspan of 55.7 meters when the wings are spread. When the wings are swept, the wingspan is 35.6 meters. The aircraft is 13.1 meters tall. The Tu-160 is powered by four Samara NK-321 after-burning turbofan engines, each with a thrust of 30,900 lbf dry and 55,000 lbf with afterburner. It has a maximum speed of Mach 2.2 at 12,200 meters, a cruise speed of Mach 0.9, and a range of 12,300 kilometers without in-flight refueling. The Tu-160 has two internal weapon bays that can carry a payload of up to 99,208 pounds of ordnance. The primary armament is the Raduga KH-55SM, KH-101, KH-102, and KH-555 cruise missile, which can be carried in six packs on internal rotary launchers. The Tu-160 can also carry the Raduga KH-15 short-range missile, which can be carried in 12 packs on internal rotary launchers. It also can carry up to 12 Kinsall missile. Number 1. B-2 Spirit The Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber, is an American stealth strategic bomber that was developed during the Cold War. It is a flying wing aircraft, meaning that it has no fuselage or tail. This design helps to reduce its radar cross-section, making it more difficult to detect. The B-2 Spirit first flew in 1989 and entered service in 1997. It has been used in combat in the Kosovo War, the war in Afghanistan, and the war in Iraq. Only 21 B-2 Spirits were built. The program was originally planned to produce 132 aircraft, 
but the number was reduced due to cost overruns and the end of the Cold War. The B-2 Spirit is a very expensive aircraft to build, and each aircraft costs an estimated $2.1 billion. The B-2 Spirit is a large, stealthy bomber with a crew of two. It is 69 feet long and has a wingspan of 172 feet. B-2 is powered by four General Electric F, 118 GE, 100 non-afterburning turbofans, each with a thrust of 17,300 lbf. It has max takeoff weight about 170,600 kilograms. B-2 has a maximum speed of 1,010 kilometers per hour, a cruise speed of 900 kilometers per hour at 12,000 meters altitude, and a range of 11,000 kilometers without refuel. The B-2 Spirit can carry its weapons in two internal bays. The official limit for the payload is 40,000 pounds, but the maximum estimated limit is 50,000 pounds. The B-2 Spirit can carry a variety of weapons, including conventional such as MK and GBU series, conventional bombs, nuclear bombs, and cruise missiles. The B-2 can carry up to 16 AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon or AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Cruise Missiles. The B-2 also can carry up to two GBU-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator Bombs. These bombs are the largest non-nuclear bombs in the U.S. arsenal. They are designed to penetrate heavily fortified targets.